One of the brightest spots in beef markets these days is the export market. Advances in byproduct value is helping to fuel those prices. And joining me now is Paul Clayton from the United States Meat Export Federation to tell us a little bit about that export market and his session for the 2015 Cattlemen's College. Paul, uh, the export market is very, very dynamic right now. And uh, I guess I would be curious, uh, what are the types and kinds of cattle that are most valued overseas? Thank you, Kevin. Uh, well, I don't know if there's any particular types that are that are more valuable than others because in most cases, uh, each head's going to contribute some part to go to the international market. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but but by the same token, we still have some branded programs that provide a lot of value in in those markets. So uh, fundamentally, I think that all the animals do contribute something, uh, just because some of those things aren't aren't consumed very widely here in the United States. So let's talk specifically about cuts. What are the cuts that are most highly prized in other foreign markets? Well, primarily, um, I guess from a demand standpoint, uh, we have a lot of value in the variety meat items. Uh, of course, those are the sometimes called the off-haul items, mm -hmm. and they're just not consumed here in the United States uh, because we have so many other choices that, that we, we can choose from. Mm -hmm. um, but they are valuable in other markets, and they do put a lot of value uh, into the beef cattle here in the United States. We also have some of the what we call our thinner cuts, which are cuts that typically come off the belly of the animal. Those are very highly prized, particularly in the Asian markets. The other thing I think that's key here is in markets like Mexico, and at one time with Russia, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the very, very lean items, such as off of the round, were very, are very popular with those uh, particular markets. You know, I hear a lot about drop credit value and what that means from a global perspective. Specifically, what drives the value of drop credit? Well, drop credit is basically a measurement of the, the byproducts that are salvaged off of the animal. And that's primarily three uh, items. It would be the variety meats, the rendered items, which typically are tallow and meat and bone meal, and then lastly would, would be the... Um, uh, hides. Hmm. Okay. The hide tends to be the highest value of those, and depending upon the value of some of the other markets, um, uh, the variety meats and the rendered items may, may uh, differ in what their value is, depending upon where they're going throughout the world. The uh, whole complex is probably about in excess of $5 billion. Mm. So that's about 200, maybe $220 per head that those markets um, uh, provide to the, the U.S. Uh, beef cattle po or value. Significant value then, for sure. You mentioned Russia before. I'm curious, uh, there is a lot of volatility that comes with the export market. Specifically, what issues are you uh, keeping your eye on now? Well, some of the bigger issues are, you know, where the markets are and, and which ones are, are uh, easier to, to deal with and get our products into. Uh, obviously, the Russian market has closed all U.S. products, so uh, that makes that uh, difficult for us. But you know what? We're, we're, we're looking for other markets that really can fill that void. Uh, even with the high prices we have today with our, our beef cattle, that doesn't seem to have affect the demand a whole lot internationally. So even though the value of the byproducts do, do increase along with, with the the other beef items, we're still able to merchandise those and move them very easily in the marketplace. Speaks to the great work you and the other team members at Meat Export Federation are doing for us. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. To find out more about Cattlemen's College 2015 and to see the full agenda, visit the website beefusa.org. We'll be right back.